Okay, this is an interesting one. Let's see if we can turn this one into a treat. Let's see. It's very quiet here today. The cicadas are not active at the moment in this local area. I can hear them in the distance, however. Okay, let's see what we got. What we got here to do. I don't know how big. Sorry about the shaking. No, I can't use it. No, we're not going to do negative positive. I just decided. Okay, let's see what it is. It is a doll, perhaps a frozen doll, whatever her name is. That's her costume. And we're going to photocopy her like this. So it's an interesting piece. I think she's from the movie Frozen. Uh, I wouldn't have a clue. I wouldn't know. Um, so we're just going to put her in on an angle. She's not going to show her hands, unfortunately. So I just line this up. Okay. I think she's an electronic doll. She's got something at the back. I didn't notice that. Probably doesn't work. That's probably why I picked it up second hand. Didn't know she was a piece of e-waste. <laughs> electronic waste. Anyway, we don't have much of her in the frame. Uh, there's her hair and her face. Um, that doesn't look too good. We're going to put her at 200. So we're just going to put her in the A6 area. But basically, yeah, she's obviously an electronic doll. I'm going to have to um, maybe lighten it off. Yeah, that looks really quite nice, That the way she's been framed, in her hair. Uh, wondering what to do with her. Um, maybe move her over a bit or leave her like that. Um, maybe move her hair across. Um, maybe. Uh, that's a good question. So I'm just going to slide her across face closer to the edge and her hair um, she's an interesting specimen anyway um, whatever way you look at it it's a shame toys are not built to last that you can't keep handing them down to your next generation um, e-waste is a serious problem and it shouldn't be 
something um, present in toys. Uh, wondering where the centre of the job is going to be. Going to make it there. But basically, it, it's a shame toys don't typically last as long as they should. Um, I'm actually thinking it's going to be there. Um, but basically, toys are not built to last, like everything else in this capitalist society. Things are just not built to last. Um, they're built to break. I'm actually thinking we're going to do something interesting with this. We're going to take that picture that I've got. We're going to make it into a negative positive. Uh, you now, this stupid user interface on this photocopier is a real pain. As you can just see, I keep fucking it around. I just fucking hate it. Honestly, I hate it. I really do. I don't even know where half the shit is when I fuck it up. But, you know, that's capitalism again, folks. Love of money. Stupid. The people that run everything are running it into the ground. And you just can't win. You know, winning with this love of money, controlling everything. And that's probably some of the problem I'm going to have trying to get my videos to go to air, is that my work is not considered... Uh, ratings worthy you know pulling the ratings from the commercials or however the system works i don't know fuck it but ratings you know getting all the getting as much of an audience as you can and usually and with the um prime time news a lot of negativity goes on in the news death disease disaster destruction you name it it's there and if it's got a, if it's a negative, negative thing, it's going to play, and they don't see the sea anywhere outside that area. Anyway, that looks interesting, uh, but basically, it's really difficult trying to change how things are. You know, to change the status quo, to have a say in what happens in this world. Is not an easy thing. Um, it's not easy trying to to change things. It isn't, folks. It's not an easy thing trying to make a difference in this world when all the big players are just there to make money. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They just care about themselves and what they can fucking earn profiteering and the photocopier industry is full of it full of shit profiteering shit and people like myself and also my future husband Luigi cannot have a say in how this photocopier industry runs and now we've got something really nice with this doll that looks really cool. Um, wondering where the centre of the job is going to be. Going to make it, I think, there. But basically, the photocopier industry is so full of shit. It's full of rubbish. And the photocopier industry, they just care about the money. And they don't have any other commitments that they have. They just love money. And it's difficult trying to get past that, to get past this money fucking and profiteering that goes on. Everything's about money these days. There's nothing new, there's nothing exciting anymore. The photocopy industry no longer does anything interesting anymore. They just care about their fucking cash or their credits or whatever it is. And they don't care about you or I, or the environment. It's 
something's got to change. The love of money has got to be dethroned. It's like a king and it sits on people's heads and people worship the king of money, gods of money. They don't see anything else but money, dollars and nonsense, as I call it. I see it as dollars and fucking nonsense. And yet they, in the toy industry, here's the toy industry, uh, again, making money and kids are involved, which is really low, such a low act to deal with kids, to try and get kids to buy things with their parents' money. That is really a low blow. That's how the industry, that's how capitalism works. It's a selfish, bitchy, horrid thing. Anyway, there's our dolly. She looks interesting, I think, now. You can call this demo. Quits.